just thought I'd give you a wee heads up on an Hillary project I've been working on, aka procrastinating on in the background. Um, I showed you a wee while ago a button plate that I designed for the steering wheel. It's now on about its fifth evolution here. Um, it now has a full on enclosure at the back and stuff and a lid for the holding the electronics and stuff in. Decided to try and do this all wirelessly so there's no cable hanging from the steering wheel to the uh, under the dash. So I needed the top six anyway for my digital dash because I need them for the menus um, on the dash, for the trip setting, for the backlight, etc. etc. While I was at it, I thought I'd add an extra four. Don't know what they're used for yet. Worked that out in a later date. Um, the whole thing is controlled, well, hopefully, will be controlled by an Arduino, um, which will sit in there. Uh, we are Duino Nano E code, um, they're about three or four quid off eBay. Um, I want a battery powered because again, I don't want any cables running down. And this is the wee wireless um, module that'll talk to the other one on the breadboard that will be wired into the car somewhere. Um, that's the theory behind it all, anyway. Um, I will admit. Uh, my first project, and I probably couldn't have chose a worse project to start with with Arduino. Um, but I'm getting a bit of help with the coding from Jordan, so if he actually ever does it, it'll be great to see if it works. Um, I have got them talking already, and um, got them to send um, messages and stuff between that one and that one. So I know they do work the link, but it's just trying to work out how to command the buttons if this is pushed to this sort of thing. So. I'm enjoying it, it's a bit of an um, interesting project. I have the lid over here reprinting because I forgot I had to put a hole in it for the on off button because as it's battery powered, there's no way to turn it off really. So if I put a wee battery, I'm gonna put a switch on it in here and hope that does the job. Um, yeah, overall, it was just really a quick intro to the next part of one of these wee mini projects that I'm doing um, while the car's still away. Just thought I'd try and take you through a wee bit of this button project because there seems to be a bit of interest online about it. Um, the enclosure I have printed out of PETG, um, so you can get it one handed. You can see inside it has a wee enclosure for a battery. Um, but um, um, It's in the vise but the wee Arduino goes into that slot. And the wee wireless module, which is here, goes into that slot. So, all the other holes are obviously for buttons, and the main on off button is on the back in that hole. Um, I have it sort of working on the breadboard that this, uh, da -da -da, this button, which is connected to this receiver, controls this LED on this one and um, so they're talking between each other I have a bit more coding to do yet to get it talking that I have 10 buttons on it instead of one um, and at present that's on all the time when I push the button it goes off so I need to switch it around as well so that is off all the time and only comes live whenever I push this button um, it's interesting I've never done any of this before and I'm looking forward to seeing if I can get it all working really. Um, so the next stage is going to be to try and get all the buttons into this thing and get the Arduino Nano um, wired up properly, soldered in using shorter cables because they're far too long for that enclosure and go from there. So we're going to start with putting these buttons in, um, the green and yellow go down here, so get them in first. So all the buttons are in, um, 
It's a bit more foot through than you might imagine trying to get long nose pliers down in there, but it's done. Um, next stage, I think I'm going to start trying to firm this Arduino board, um, which is going to sit in there, I think. Yeah, I need to get all the wires into it. it might sit like that. Don't really know yet. Uh, I need to get all the wires into it and solder it in. Um, and then work out exactly how I'm going to set it into that wee enclosure. I think probably a bit of hot glue on the bottom of it to stick it in is probably going to be the final solution. So I'll get it all cabled neatly anyway for now and I'll not stick it down to I'm absolutely certain it all works. Switch one. Switch two. Switch three. Leave switch three on. Switch two. Switch one. Yes, lad. Okay then, just a wee bit of an update. Um, I have, well rather, Ryan has, a friend of mine, I give it to him to do the final soldering for me. Um, and I'll try and open it up with one hand. As you can see, heck of a lot of a neater job than I would ever have managed. So, thank you very much, Ryan. Much appreciated. Okay, so as you can see, no wires whatsoever running from this to this completely wireless now and you can see if you push the, this button first LED lights up second LED lights up third LED lights up I just don't have 10 LEDs there but they do all work I can show you on the screen so dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 spare 1 spare 2 spare 3 Spare four, so they're all working. I'm very happy that this is the concept works anyway. A few minor things need to change on. I want to change the lid because I don't think the lip on the lid sticks down in far enough. And as you can see, then it actually sits up away here. So I'm also tempted to put a signal coming from the receiver back to the transmitter. Um, if the door is opened, um, then it'll hopefully remind me to turn this off whenever I get out of the car. Um, so if it senses a short to ground on one of the input pins on this, it'll send a message back over to this to put 12 or whatever it is volts out into a buzzer. Um, so that whenever I open the door, the, the wee tiny buzzer goes off in here to remind me to turn this off. Um, could get annoying but we'll see it's definitely worth a shot to see if the nine volt battery run out all the time so hope you've enjoyed that wee mini project um it's not completely over yet i have to still integrate it into the car and get this side of the car thing working um i need to work out i think i'm going to need to buy a couple of the arduino relay boards um and get work out what I need everything to do. I don't think I'm gonna need the relay for the dash side of things, um, but I will need four relays for the other four, whatever it is I use for those really. Um, yeah. For those that haven't seen it before, this is the dash in question that I will be operating the buttons for. Um, the four menu buttons on the side, then another one for the trip and another one for the backlight to change it from day to night mode I think. Um, you can see the buttons aren't going to be that handy to get at, especially whenever you have a steering wheel in the way. So I figured this would be handier. Um, the buttons will mainly be used just to go through uh, menus and stuff like that. I haven't quite got used to this dashboard yet, but it'll be used to go through all the different menus and all that carry on. So. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this all working. I need another wee interface unit, of course I do, between this and this. Um, so I get it ordered up and once I have it plugged in and working, I'll show you the whole thing working on the car, hopefully. For now, that'll do me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this wee mini project. Um, the next stage, as I said, is going to be to get a box built up for the car with a couple of relay boxes and stuff in it so that I can operate the four spare outputs, whatever I put on those then. That'll give a 12 volt out to those. 
So if you like what you're saying, hit the subscribe button on the channel, um, give the video a share, and at some point I might end up selling the maybe not the button plate, but I might end up selling the wireless steering or steering wheel control setup. If anybody's interested, um, I can put a price together or whatever. The kits that you buy out there with 10 buttons on them are about 590 quid from memory. So the this one would be a lot cheaper than that, but yeah, if anybody's interested, give me a shout. Until the next one, have a good time. Bye.